Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Laravel 12 was released on February 24th, 2025. With this release, the option to install Laravel Breeze or Laravel Jetstream using the Laravel new command is no longer available, as it was in previous versions. In this video, you will learn how to install Laravel Jetstream with the latest version of Laravel, which is Laravel 12. As of now, if you install Laravel Jetstream with Laravel 12, it does not include the latest Tailwind CSS 4.0. So, you will also learn how to upgrade your Jetstream app to Tailwind CSS 4.0. Before getting started, make sure you have PHP 8.2.0 or higher, Composer version 2.8.5, and the latest Laravel installer 5.12.0 or higher installed. Go to the directory where you want to install Laravel 12 app. Right-click and select Open in Terminal. First, let's check the installed PHP version. Type php-v and press Enter. Here, you can see that the PHP version installed on my system is 8.2.0, which meets the minimum requirement for Laravel 12. Next, let's check the installed Composer version. Type the command Composer dash dash version and press Enter. Here, you can see that the Composer version installed on my system is 2.8.5. Now, to check the Laravel installer version, type the command Laravel dash dash version and press Enter. You can see that the Laravel installer version installed on my system is 5.14.0. Make sure you have Laravel installer version 5.12.2 or higher. If you have an older version of Laravel installed, update the Laravel installer first using the command Composer Global Update Laravel slash installer or Composer Global Require Laravel slash installer. Let's install Laravel 12 with Laravel Jetstream. First, we will install Laravel 12 and after that, we will install Laravel Jetstream. Type CLS to clear the command prompt. Type the command Laravel new your project name and press enter. You will see a prompt asking which starter kit you would like to install. Since we won't be using any of these starter kits, type none and press enter to proceed with the installation of Laravel 12. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. Next, you'll see a prompt asking which database your application will use. Since we'll be using MySQL, type MySQL and press Enter to proceed. Then you will be asked for database migration. Type No and press Enter. Next, you will be asked if you'd like to run npm install and npm run build. Type Yes and press Enter. The download is complete. Now, type cd your project name to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open composer.json file. Here you can see that the Laravel version is 12.0. Next, open package.json file. Here you can see that the Tailwind CSS version is 4.0.0, but when we install Laravel Jetstream, it will downgrade to version 3.4.0. Now let's install Laravel Jetstream. Click here and open a new terminal. Go to Jetstream documentation. First, we'll use Composer to install Jetstream into our Laravel 12 app. Copy this command. Paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. Laravel Jetstream package has been installed successfully. Next, we need to install Jetstream with Livewire. We will use the dash dash API, dash dash dark, dash dash verification, and dash dash teams directives for API, 
dark mode verification and team support. In your terminal, type the command php artisan jetstream colon install livewire dash dash api dash dash dark dash dash verification dash dash teams and press enter. It may take a few moments to download and install the necessary packages. The download is complete, but for some reason, the command prompt hasn't exited automatically. You can press Ctrl plus C to exit. Open composer.json file. Here, you can see that Laravel Jetstream 5.3, Laravel Sanctum 4.0, and Laravel Livewire 3.0 are installed. Next, open package.json file. Here, you can see that Tailwind CSS has been downgraded from 4.0.0 to 3.4.0, which we will upgrade to 4.0.0 later. If you open the app slash actions folder, you'll see the Fortify and Jetstream folders, each containing classes like create new user, update password, create team, delete team, and more. Here is the abstract controller class. Open models folder and you will find membership.php, team.php, teaminvitation.php, and user.php classes. In policies folder, you will find teampolicy.php file. In providers folder, you will find app service provider, fortify service provider, and jetstream service provider classes. In view slash components folder, you will find app layout and guest layout classes. In bootstrap folder, you will find app.php and providers.php file. If you open the config folder, you'll see all the configuration files, including jetstream.php and fortify.php. The database folder contains factories, migrations, and cedars folder. The public folder contains the build slash assets folder, along with the favicon.ico file. Open the resources folder, and you'll find a CSS folder inside which there is an app.css file. Here, the Tailwind CSS directories have been added. In JS folder, you will find app.js and bootstrap.js files. In Markdown folder, you will find policy.md and terms.md files. In view slash API folder, you'll find the API token manager and index blade files. In the auth folder, you'll find all the authentication related blade files. In the components folder, you'll find all the components such as action message, banner, button, checkbox, etc. In the layouts folder, you will find app.blade.php and guest.blade.php files. In the profile folder, you'll find all the profile-related files, such as the delete user form, update password form, etc. The teams folder contains team-related files, and here are dashboard and welcome blade files. Open the api.php file inside the routes folder. Here is a get route that returns the authenticated user's data, protected by the auth sanctum middleware. Open web.php file. Here is a get route that returns the welcome view, and another get route that returns the dashboard view, protected by the auth sanctum, verified middlewares, and session authentication settings. Now let's create a database for our app. Open.env file. Copy the database name. Go to your browser and open PHP My Admin. Click on New. Paste the database name which you have copied and click on Create to create the database. The database has been created. Next, we need to migrate the database. In your terminal, type the command php artisan migrate to migrate the database. The database has been migrated. Go to PHP My Admin, reload the page, and you should see all the tables such as users, team underscore user, team underscore invitations, teams, etc. Let's run our app. Type CLS to clear the command prompt. Now, instead of using the npm run dev command to compile the frontend assets, we will use the composer run dev command, which will run both PHP artisan serve and npm run dev commands. Type the command composer run dev and press enter. You can see that the local development server for our app has started, and the npm run dev command is also running. Now, 
Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 8000, and you should see the new Laravel 12 welcome page. Click on the register link and you will see the register page. Click on this link and you will see the login page. Click on this link and you will see the forgot password page. Click on the logo and you will be redirected to the home page. Now, let's update Tailwind CSS to version 4.0. I have opened Tailwind CSS docs. Click on Upgrade Guide. Copy this command. Click here and select Command Prompt to open a new command prompt. Paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. If you see a prompt asking to install the following packages, type Y and press Enter to proceed. You can see it is migrating templates, style sheets, etc., removing some packages, and updating the dependencies. The upgrade was successful. Open app.css file, and you should see that Tailwind CSS has been imported along with the forms and typography plugins. You'll also notice at source directives for BladeView files from Laravel pagination and Jetstream components. Additionally, the at theme block sets Figtree as the default font. Open package.json file, and you should see Tailwind CSS version 4.0.12 and at Tailwind CSS slash Vite version 4.0.0. If you go to your app, you will see an error at layer base is used, but no matching at Tailwind base directive is present. Let's fix this error. Copy the Tailwind CSS Vite plugin and add it to the plugin section of the vite.config.js file. Copy this Tailwind CSS import statement and paste it inside the vite.config.js file. If you go to your app, the error is still there. Let's restart the server. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server and then type Y. Type the command composer run dev and press enter. Now, if you go to the browser, you should see that the error is gone and the welcome page is displayed as before. You'll notice that the login, forgot password, and register pages are displayed as before, without any errors. Let's register a user. Enter your name, email, password, confirm the password, and click the register button. You will then be redirected to the dashboard. Here is your Laravel Jetstream dashboard. Click here, then click on Team Settings, and you will be taken to the Teams page. From there, you can update the team name and add team members. Click here, then click on Create New Team, and you will be taken to the Create Team page. Enter your team name and click on Create, and your team will be created. Click here and you can see your new team. Click here, then click on Profile and you will be taken to the Profile page. From there, you can update your profile, change your password, and enable two-factor authentication. Click on API Tokens and you will be taken to the API Tokens page. From there, you can create your API token. Next, let's implement the email verification feature so that when a user registers, an email will be sent to their email address to verify their account. To test the email verification feature, we'll use MailTrap. MailTrap is a tool that allows us to safely test email functionality by capturing emails sent by our application without actually sending them to real email addresses. Go to MailTrap.com and sign up using your email and password, then open the inbox. Here you will see all the credentials for your account, such as host, port, username, and password. Click here to copy the host. Open.env file. In the mail mailer, add SMTP. In the mail host, paste the host which you have copied. Keep the mail port intact. Next, we need to add the username and password. Click here to copy the username. Paste the username in the mail username. Click here to copy the password. Paste the password in the mail password. Now, open the user model which is inside app models folder. First, uncomment this interface. Here, add the must verify email interface using the implements keyword. Next, open web.php file. Here, you can see that the verified middleware has been applied to the dashboard route, meaning the user must be verified to access the route. Now, if you go to your app, you will see email verification page. You will be asked to verify your email address. 
go to phpMyAdmin and click on the users table. Here, you can see that the email verified at field is null because we haven't verified our email address yet. When you click on the verify email address button, it will be replaced by a timestamp. Click on the resend verification email button. You can see that the page is loading, which indicates that the email is being sent. You can see a message. A new verification link has been sent to the email address you provided in your profile settings. Go to MailTrap, and you will see an email with the verify email address subject. Click here to open the email. Click on this button and you will be redirected to the API tokens page and your email address will be verified. Go to PHP My Admin and reload the page. You will see that a timestamp has been added in the email verified at field. Now, let's try to add a team member to our team so that an email will be sent to the email address of the team member you've added. Click here, then click on John's team. Now, click here, then click on team settings. Next, enter the email address of the person you would like to add to this team. Then select a role and click on Add. There is an error. View emails.teaminvitation not found. Go back to Jetstream Docs. Right click and open the GitHub link in a new tab. Now search for team invitation.blade.php. Click on this file. We need to create teaminvitation.blade.php file inside views slash emails folder. Copy this code. Now in the views folder, create a folder called emails. Then create a file named teaminvitation.blade.php inside the emails folder. Now paste the code which you have copied. Now go back to your app and you should see no errors. The email address appears in the pending invitation, but the email wasn't sent due to the missing view. Cancel the invitation and re-add the user to your team. Let's add a new user. Select a role and click Add. A team invitation email will be sent to the user's email address. You can see the recently added email address in the pending team invitation section. Go to MailTrap and you will see the team invitation email. Click here to open the email. There are two buttons. Create account and accept invitation. First, we need to register the user with the email we added to the team and then accept the invitation. Here, I have opened the registration page in another browser. Now, enter the same email address you added to the team and register the user. Next, you need to verify your email. Go back to MailTrap and you will see an email with verify email address subject. Open this email. Right-click on this button and copy the link address. Now, go to another browser, paste the URL and press Enter. You will be redirected to John's team with a 403 forbidden error. This happens because we haven't accepted the team invitation yet. Go back to MailTrap and open the team invitation email. Right-click on the Accept Invitation button and copy the link address. Now, go to another browser, Paste the URL and press Enter. You will be redirected to the dashboard with the message. You have accepted the invitation to join John's team. Click here and you will see John's team. Click on it. Now you have switched to John's team. In this video, we learned how to install and set up Laravel Jetstream with Laravel 12. We also covered how to upgrade Laravel Jetstream to Tailwind CSS 4.0, enable email verification and send a verification email, add a user to a team, and send a team invitation email. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, stay safe.